You have entered the Chronix rabbit hole, and Matt, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request, and you are bringing Within Temptation back down the rabbit hole for us. Thank you so much, and this is from their new album, Bleed Out, and this song is called Ritual. Thank you so much, Matt, for bringing Within Temptation back down the rabbit hole. It has been a little while since they have graced us with their presence. Matt, thank you so much for bringing Within Temptation back down the rabbit hole. It has been a little while since we have seen this band, and you're bringing us Ritual, the official music video from their new album, Bleed Out. I'm so excited to get into this and see what they have in store for us. If you are excited to be here with us, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. And you're also saying that this music video itself is being like critically talked about, so we're going to pay special attention to what is going on in this ritual and we will elaborate as to what we are thinking with intentation fans we're going in chronicans let's do this oh interesting style already cool huh whoa Anytime you always are allowed to pause. I'll rewind it a little bit, but this is, it's very cool, but interesting. So this is an AI overlay yes. on this music video. Reminds so me there's, of the Ren video we saw. That it one reminds me of the Ren video. So um, basically you take the actual video that you film. So they're taking their video and then they put it through an AI generator that then regenerates the whole video. Yeah. So this is really interesting the way they've done this yeah so and, far. all right i want to see that again and this is interesting chanting almost yeah Okay, like, first of all, like, because you wanted to kind of dive into this a bit, like, yeah. so she, it almost felt like a Me Too getting sexually harassed at work, and then you just kind of, you don't want to be part of that ritual anymore. You've had enough. You've had enough, so you're kind of just breaking what maybe a lot of women have felt like being part of society you have to just take on and so this lady because the guy always looks kind of the same no matter it who's being tends manifested to be like the same and that absolutely it is and like even at gyms we hear all the times where girls are being watched while they're working out mm -hmm. and that was kind of the we've seen that scene too it's so interesting just to take from a from a couple different perspectives of this because um when you're being at work um when you're at work and going through what she was going through with like that sexual harassment where he's like actually going under her dress to like yeah, taking and panty doing shots. panty shots and stuff like that. And then he's like, whoa, like not a big deal, blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then like that monster comes out and you like, you've had enough. And she's like literally smashing his face into the 
top year right yeah, yeah. um and it's like when that demon comes out of you because we all have this like this rage within us yeah. and very much in society the female the feminine is supposed to be like even in movies and stuff it's like oh well yeah that, that really sucks damsel in distress the damsel in distress but it's like no like for you've seen feminine rage you know that there is a lot of rage that comes from this where very it's like, chaotic it's very chaotic it isn't just like oh that's sweet please stop no it's, it's very demon like it is and face. as she comes out so like that she's like had that vampire aspect yeah with the guy where she like went up to him and then like bit him and sucked the life force out of him yeah. but we also see because yes there are women who have been stared at at gyms and things like that but now that has been transformed into a way to get views on social media so now it went it has turned into almost a vampiric aspect of it to where women are now sucking the life force out of men who are simply trying to help help it exist around y'all trying to exist yeah. sometimes it's like oh wow she's actually doing like that much weight this is impressive i want to watch because i'm yeah. impressed what if she needs Not help what if she needs help it's, it's all you it know is, like yeah. how like we've mm -hmm. even seen in weightlifting um where man or woman is, you know, pushing up a rep, but it gets too heavy on that last one. And you can break bones Absolutely. from weight and stuff like that. So it's not always a sexual look that's happening. And so it, what has been, you know, an innocent like, hey, now we're trying to bring awareness to this thing that's happening has now turned into this vampiric system where now it's like oh hey because if you turn to me honey because she like walked up to him and she even did like the gesture of like that sexual gesture to him before then vamp like vampirizing him and taking that from so like there's so many different things that are happening in this video and it's so well done all right and then i just want to quickly say something too before we get back yeah. into it on the guy's side I don't want to go to a gym because of the silly woman that are now making a ritual into making men look stupid at a Absolutely. gym and they have stolen the gym from men. Yeah. So that's horrible. Absolutely it is. They're, this is so new because there's that actually happened like in soccer when the girl team won the yeah. one of the managers came and gave her a hug and kiss and then she oh. got pissed off at her manager for celebrating a win yeah but like a kiss on the lips is different than just no it's not when you're win. from that country in brazil and argentina we see everyone kissing and hugging each other when they celebrate that's the that's how bad it's getting now y'all okay um, I don't see it that way because, again, I'm not from that culture, so I don't understand I'm that. not even saying it was a kiss on the lip. It was just a hug and, like, a celebratory okay. smooch that they all do. We've seen Taria many times have people kissing her on the cheeks, on the face and all that. And it's part of the style, but because everyone is now missing you looking at me trying to bench press as you being mean or me you hugging in celebration for a win it's bad and that's why they brought the soccer in there as well it was perfect because that's the people who are trying to make the moves right now it's the mm -hmm. soccer players specifically interesting i i also don't know about that happening in um i don't know about what had happened there so that's really interesting information just based on specifically the music video coming in for a kiss on the lips for me that is definitely a no-go but again that's not my culture too so i don't know all i'm trying to say is this is really good because it's even bringing in stuff that just happened recently because it's a new song and so it's that really attacking stuff
all the men she took down with her ritual. Yep. And that that's Toxic why Toxic femininity. And that's why I was getting offended, y'all, because it's a double standard that y'all don't understand because you think it's okay to kill after someone fucks up. And that's what I don't think is okay. That's why we're all focusing on the kiss and not the kill. And that's where I have an issue because everyone's suggestion is to kill and to eradicate. And for me, that's disgusting. And I think that's perfect the way that they did this because they wanted to show, yes, get the sympathy for the woman, what she's going through. But then she went too far. That's why they're saying be a part of my yeah. ritual. And yeah, y'all have went too far because equality is rising up. But you went past it. I really like how um, that going too far that all these men who were taken down turned into zombies at the end. And then were like following her with the zombies because... That's what you want, y'all. The At the end of the day, because it goes from being like, hey, we want equality. But then it turns into, no, we just want power. Yeah. It's been a conversation that we've had in the house where these... Situations, these things that have started with really good intentions, because we do have that sympathy of, you know, sexual harassment in the workplace is something oh, I've experienced. This is something we've all experienced. It's even been experienced by men as well. But like sexuality in the workplace for women is a big thing, you know, being catcalled and hollered and things like that, you know, celebration or inappropriate celebration, you know, going for a week for, you know, an, an inappropriate grab on the beach and things like that. Um, these things happen, but then it's the going so far as to then killing at that moment. And it's like, yes, these start with good intentions, but now it's just turned into power and vengeance and the power and the vengeance is what's now turning all of these zombies to walk around where it's like, you don't want to go to a gym. You don't want to That's interact. What we're celebrating. You don't That's want why to... it actually hurts. It does hurt me. It 100% hurts yeah. me because it's, it's so double standard. It's getting to the point where mm -hmm. we're. Yes, kissing someone on the lips is bad. Yes, grabbing someone in the ass is bad. Yes, taking a photo of someone down there is bad. You know what's worse? Murder. Yeah. You know what's worse? Defamation. Yeah. Alex Jones just got in a billion dollar defamation account. That's worse. He's dead. He's done. There's no existence. Does he deserve it? Sure. I'm all cool with that. It is a different thing, but... What all I'm seeing from a man's side is that zombiness. Now I have to be a zombie because I can't go to the gym because I want to help. Yeah. I do look because I'm a human. Y'all are looking at me because you set up the camera. Oh, I saw this video just to add to what you're saying about a girl. So like, you know how guys come up and they want to help or do things like that or like even have a conversation. This girl set up a camera of her going to go ask out her gym crush. And he's like, no, you're ratchet. Why would I? Right. But she didn't expect to get rejected because she's a girl. Yeah. Why would she get rejected? And so it was such like a, that double standard that you're talking about where she was filming this guy, watching him work out through it online for all of us to see and then was bad mouthing him because he rejected her. And it's like, well, of course he rejected you. Look what you're doing. You're filming this. You're throwing things online. Yeah. And like and... in the heat of the moment, things happen. So I'm, I'm with you. And like in yeah. Brazil and Argentina, it's a very much more kissy, huggy feeling. You win mm -hmm. a championship something might have happened like it showed the grabbing of the face and kissing the girl and then we're celebrating now that this guy has no job he's done he's yeah he's out he's got no life he's got no way to support his family now and i understand it's like well he kissed him it's like okay now his kid's got nothing everything's ruined because everything's he ruined made a because mistake. of this and he made and i and i get that so that's why I'm saying y'all are making mistakes with how you're addressing this. Yeah. And that's why this music video was perfect. And I was so happy that they didn't just do it the one way, which I've been seeing media only focusing on the one side, opposed to when the woman then becomes the chaotic dragon of chaos. Yeah. And then that's what we get from it. And now we're all okay. That's what she's saying. It's like, I'm okay having zombie-like men in this world. What do zombie-like men do? They follow and they kill humans they eat yeah. people 
So, like, why do you want that? Because if they're going to kill for you, it's okay. But if they're not <laughs> killing for you, it's not okay. And that's why we get all of these things where it's like, oh, but you're an ally. And it's like, well, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm killing for you? Am I just this new zombie that's following you because we're allies now? Yeah. Or is this because, or what, what is this? What is this turning into? Because I, I don't. I need to say one thing. Yes. I was at Walmart and two old ladies started sexually harassing me about how good I looked. I'm not allowed to say that sexual harassment because it's two older ladies and I'm a man. Yeah. You can feel the tremble. I just got sexually harassed by two older ladies. You can feel it. You can see it. I'm not allowed to say anything, y'all. Yeah. That's devastating. I have to be a zombie. The amount of times where I'm at work or, and I see what women, how women treat men now because they feel like they can get away with it and the guy can't say anything. He can't tell them to back off. And they're like, oh my God, look at you. Look at your hair. Can I do this? Can I touch you? Oh, it's so cool. That's what I mean. And it's happening all the time, but the guys can't really say anything about it now. So it isn't like, it isn't an equality thing where now it's like, hey, this isn't okay on both sides. It's now just reversed where it's like, hey, you can't talk to me. You can't look at me, but I can dress however I want. I can do whatever I want to get as much attention as i want but if you look at me or you say anything or you ask me then i'm going to kill you turn you into that zombie but then i can do the same thing to you yeah i'm not about that y'all i'm about actually coming yeah. to a good compromise and talking that's what i'm about and because we don't do that we're all keyboard warriors now um mm -hmm. that's why you can't even go to a gym without feeling like you're gonna get in trouble for it so that's yeah. that's devastating when every woman's getting upset with the things getting stolen from them we're becoming zombies. So a society. Of that's zombies. great, y'all. That's why it fires me up. And y'all haven't really seen passionate side of Kyle on certain things because you also challenged us to do this. So it's being critically talked about. And that's why, because this is the first art thing that I've seen that has shown the dark side of girls no offense yeah. of what it can be at the full extreme and it is a dark side because there is a lot of this like <clears throat> almost like demonic rage like we saw in that video where the girl was using the surfboard to kill the guy and it was that demon that came out behind her and then she turned into her own zombie because it's like we're all turning into these straight animals yeah straight animals we are animals and we're going very um naturalistic yeah. with our views moving forward y'all but anyways that was a lot of fun i actually liked the music itself it was fantastic it, it blew music. by as well even though there was so much to digest i need to listen to the song again to get past some of my own things i was getting caught up on so i can just mm -hmm. enjoy the music a bit more itself too because i thought it was very well done it was very ai based but then everything still seemed very um like even though it was ai it went demonic at the correct point so it like did. there was still some like order in that ai and that was really cool to see as well it was awesome to have with temptation come back down and we hope you guys still had a good time through the midst of that open dialogue that alana and i had here so we are now exiting the rabble hole folks hope you had a good time with us Thank you all for being here with us. This was a very interesting video. We're definitely going to watch this again and do some more deep dive into it because there are so many different things that can be talked about and tackled in this video. On a first listen, I think it does induce a lot of emotion, which is why it's yeah. so critically talked about right oh, now. Totally, right? Because it gets like it gets your heart going because there's yes. so many ways it can be interpreted, even to the point where the person who was laying on the beach kept changing because the AI was constantly changing faces because it was say, basically essentially for me saying that it could be anyone yeah and so it was um this was such an interesting video very intriguing very what a very good way to tackle a topic that not many people are tackling right now so the ritual or just ritual is phenomenal and thank you so much matt for bringing this down the rabbit hole i can't wait to see what else you have in store for us peace and love everyone god bless y'all take care and bye for now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support.
Thank you all so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you had a good time and you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss the next one, here is a very easy way that you can make it to our next one by hitting the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard on this video and you want to support this artist, then an easy way to do that is going right here. And I think we have a really good video for you right here that we think you will enjoy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.